Hello, floppy catters. Today we're gonna do a little freeze dried pumpkin for my cats, Charlie and Trig. Basically their stools are a little drier than I would want them to be, which means it's probably a little bit harder for them to pass. So pumpkin is great to resolve acute diarrhea issues as well as kind of acute constipation issues. And I would say that their stool being dry is an acute constipation issue, meaning not like brought on by chronic kidney disease or something like that. Um, I reference that because as many of you know, we lost my parents' cat Camus in December of 2020. It's now April of 2021. And he had chronic constipation issues because of his kidneys failing. This is the freeze dried pumpkin. This is what comes inside of this bag. So what's nice about this is I used to use canned pumpkin, but this will last a lot longer because it's freeze dried. I just have to add water to it. Whereas the canned pumpkin, you know, I had to open up the whole can. Now on canned pumpkin, you can absolutely freeze it all you know, into ice cube trays and all that kind of stuff. And I tried that, but just, it was like mushy and gross. It wasn't the same consistency. So I'm pretty interested to see how this turns out. Are you excited about this helping your poopers? You are, you want some of this one? He, Charlie and Trig get cheats every afternoon and it's actually breakfast time right now. And that bag that I opened, the stand-up pouch, not this one, but the stand-up pouch is why um, Charlie is meowing because he thinks that it's whole life cheats. Like they're just one or they're living treats that we eat or they're real foodie, but no, it's pumpkin. <laughs> Get excited, woo. Get excited. I do have a diarrhea pumpkin video, like how to resolve diarrhea with pumpkin on our YouTube channel. In that video, I talk about how no cat would willingly eat pumpkin. Um, that was published three or four years ago. And now several people have commented about how their cat willingly eats pumpkin by itself. So I was inaccurate in that statement. I've just never met a cat that willingly eats pumpkin by itself. So lucky me. Instructions are two parts water, one part pumpkin. I'm gonna do a half a tablespoon of pumpkin then two half tablespoons or one tablespoon of water. Stir that baby up. And now I will syringe it into Charlie's mouth. Thank you. Thank you. I always thank my cats after I um, syringe them anything. So he's not as a willing participant of syringe things like Charlie. Oh, that's not so bad. Okay. One more. Thank you. Thank you. That's a good kitty. This is a three milliliter syringe and I pretty much do one milliliter, then let them swallow. One milliliter, let them swallow. One milliliter, let them swallow. And I always shoot it on the tongue because if you shoot it towards the back of their mouth, it could end up in their lungs. So I always shoot it on the tongue. If you don't have a syringe, then you can always add it to their wet food if you feed your cats wet food. You can take a half a teaspoon and sprinkle it on top. And then I would go, I'm not gonna sprinkle all of that. But I, then I would go in and mix it in. But I would, First, start out really small, maybe even a fourth of a teaspoon. If you're not familiar with how your cat does, definitely get your, re your vet's recommendation for amounts. I just have used pumpkin on my cats before, so I know what to use. And really, the review of this is to show the ease and the longevity of storage of it. So I'm gonna show you now how I pack it up. So once I've cut the bag open, then I just try to get all of the air out of it as possible. And then I just take a rubber band and put that around. And then I put it back into the bag that whole life sent it to me in. You can squeeze the air out of that bag too. And then 
you can store this, I think, in your cupboard. Yeah, store in a cool, dry place. Or you can also just throw it in the freezer. Um, I don't think that would hurt anything. If your cats are on a dry food only diet, maybe you could sprinkle pumpkin on top. I'm not really sure. I don't believe in a dry food only diet. I think it's actually pretty bad for a cat to be on that. And when I have sprinkled whole life freeze dried powder, not pumpkin, but just like powder on top of their food and not mixed it in, my Charlie sometimes inhales it like through his lungs and then he's like sneezing and stuff. So I also just don't think that putting powder on top of food is good. I think mixing it in is a good way to avoid them inhaling it and for any reason. They do have feeding guidelines on here, up to 10 pounds, one teaspoon, 11 to 25 pounds, one to two teaspoons. Again though, with cats, I would go slowly and just build up kind of how you would if you're gonna transition them to a new food. This is also great for dogs. You could mix it into their food as well. Maybe even mix it into peanut butter if they're not willing to just eat it with their food. And that would help with diarrhea too. There's also, it says it's a daily source of dietary fiber, vitamins A, C, E, plus potassium and iron. Promotes and restores stool quality and formation. Helps address both constipation and diarrhea. Adds bulk to each meal, helping overweight pets feel a sense of fullness. And it's made from 100% pure pumpkin puree. Today I'm going to give my parents, Murphy, some of the pumpkin powder. And I've actually found that three parts water to one part of the pumpkin powder is the best for syringing. So that's what we're going to do. I don't have Murphy yet because I've seen that it's kind of best to let it kind of absorb into the water and then syringe it. So that's the basically the consistency of it that I'll syringe up. Murphy gets four pills a day. So one of the great things about pumpkin, for example, is that you can use it as a pill chaser, which is what we're gonna do today. Murphy is 16 going on 17 in August. So it's uh, late April right now. So we got four months until he's 17. He, he does have pretty good stools, but older kitties can get constipated. So it's not a bad way to just get some extra fiber in them. Um, I pill him pretty quickly, but this technique right here that my mom taught me, it just helps the pill go down. Helps the medicine go down, medicine go down. And we do two pills and then he gets a small break and then we do the other two. When Camus, his brother was dying, I gave him pumpkin every day to help stools because he had chronic kidney failure and that, you know, dries out their stool or just makes everything, everything drier. So pumpkin really helped Camus and that's how I used it to pill. That's what's nice about the powder is that it's really easy to mix and, and get ready really quickly. And especially if you let it absorb into the water for a few seconds before you syringe it. One of the nice things too is that you you don't waste any. One of the things with canned pumpkin, when Camus was dying and I was using it on a regular basis, I would take a chunk of it, put it in the bowl, mix it around, and then you know use what I needed to and then threw the rest of it out. So you can get your measurements pretty specific with a powder. Um, I guess you could with canned as well. Oops, hey sorry. And you can tell that Murphy doesn't mind the taste of it. I mean, he's not really keen on someone shooting stuff in his mouth. But if he really hated the taste of this, he would um, probably foam at the mouth. But Murphy actually is my parents' cat that likes pumpkin. Oops, we didn't go after this. So he, he is a rare bird that he likes. I think you've got that one stuck, that he likes likes to eat pumpkin flavored things. Are you, and we're done, I'm sorry. Since we're at my parents' house with Murphy, I thought I'd give Parker the rest of this, see if he'll, he'll go for it. Hi, you can drop that. So Parker actually eats Whole Life Pets freeze dried pumpkin treats for dogs. He loves them, yep, finish that off. Now I'm gonna see if he'll just eat the powder by itself. 
But again, with dogs, you know, you could mix it in yogurt, you could mix it in cottage cheese, you could mix it in water like that one was, you could put it in his food. There's lots of different ways that he could have it. All right, here's just the plain powder. We'll see what my mom tell, is telling me to make him sit, but I really don't think of pumpkin is that great of a treat. Yeah, I'm gonna just eat it dry too. That wasn't as exciting. Oh, boop. I did ask my mom if she was going to feed this to Parker. She said she would just put it on top of his food. Because he's a good eater. Because he's a good eater. You might've heard that in the background. <laughs> good job, Parky. All empty. So I will include a link in the comment section, but also the description below if you're interested in buying this freeze dried pumpkin powder from Whole Life. The big difference between Whole Life and other freeze dried pumpkin powders you're gonna find on Amazon or probably Chewy for that matter is that they have quality control because they're in a human grade facility and because they sell to retailers they have to meet more strict guidelines. I just found out from them that if a, if a company does not sell in a retail store like PetSmart, Petco, or any of the like boutique pet stores and stuff like that, they don't have to pass the regulations and whatnot that a company like Whole Life does. So it just ensures that it's a little safer product. During the process of this review, I discovered that it is actually better to have one scoop of the powder to three scoops of the water if you're going to syringe it. And even better if the water can be warm water. All right guys, that wraps up our final product review video for the freeze dried pumpkin powder from Whole Life Pets. I'm at my parents' house again today. My mom said that Murphy had a tiny little poop, so we're gonna see if we can get him to have a big poop by adding some more pumpkin. And that's why this is so easy and convenient. The ratio for syringing I have found is either one portion of the powder to three to four portions of water. And again, warm water seems to make it kind of disintegrate even more because if you look into the bag, there's like a powdery consistency and then there's like big chunk consistencies. So that's why the warm water does better with that. I will include a link in the about section below to where you can buy this online. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> we'll see you next time.